I wonder what Mario is doing right now. I wonder if he's hurt. I'm so worried about him. He'll be alright, Princess Peach. Well I, bet he, well, I bet he's saving some star spirits right now. Yes, you're right, Twink. I must be strong. I need to concentrate on finding a way out of here. But there are tons of guards just beyond your, your door. And it's impossible for you to escape through the window. Oh, wait a minute. I remember the minister telling me that there was a secret passage out of this room. Twink, help me look for it. Cool, great idea. Psst. What? Princess Peach? <laughs> you know you're not allowed to leave the room. I'm sorry, but I have to take you back. <laughs> sorry, we had to. Oh my goodness. Damn. Are you alright, Princess Peach? Did they hurt you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you, Twink. That was just plain stupid. We've got to be more careful. It doesn't look like you can get out this door. We had to, you know, we just had to. Um, but you know, to be completely honest, like, the first time I saw this, I thought this was cool. Like, you know, just a nice change of pace. Oh, a photo of Mario. Don't look at that. Damn. <laughs> Privacy or something? You know, like, damn. But I honestly think this is such a change of pace. And if anything, I feel like it helps you connect a little bit better with what's going on. And, you know, because they could have easily just removed, not had this and just had you playing as Mario. And it would have like, you know, you really would have forgot about Peach. But when you actually see her trying to do things to help, it really reinforces her as more just than a damsel in distress. You know, like, yeah, she still needs to be rescued. But she's trying some. She's trying to do things, you know. She's not just sitting back and waiting for Mario to come. So it's one of those things. Like it's just you know, encourage female gamers. I don't want to get political or really into that kind of stuff. But you know, like a strong female character. You know, good for because I'm sure there's you know like obviously my cousin played this game and she's she was a girl. So it's like you know I feel it's got to be good to see a character like this in a game. I'm sure there's you know. There was quite a few girls who played this game growing up. Does it just keep going until... Oh, okay, no, no. So many dresses, and yet they all look exactly the same. They're not the same. Designs are all slightly different and very fashionable. How practical is that, though? Please tell me. This is no time to sleep. Yes, yeah, so let's keep looking. I already know where it is, by the way, I'm just, you know, beautiful flowers, aren't they? They smell so good. Sure, I guess. So pretty. Okay. It is this guy right here. Oh look, there's something behind this drawing. She has to jump. Yeah, it's cool. Now we can get out of this room. I also like this music. Like, I already said, a lot of the music in this game is pretty good. Oh! What do you think I was gonna do, Peach? Come on. Where are we? We could totally go out the door again, but let's not. Hey, look at this! It looks like somebody left a private diary just laying around. Should we read it? Oh. <laughs> read it or only. Oh let's read. Oh, you like doing this sort of thing, don't you? Do you tisk tisk? Okay then, very quietly. <laughs> I don't need to be judged, Twink. <laughs> Damn, making you feel bad when you <laughs> read other people's diaries or journals. <laughs> Let's see. Day o mm, yeah. Today I went to Star Haven and stole the Star Rod. Now I'm invincible. Cool. I also captured those seven Star Spirits, so they won't annoy me anymore. It was a it was a hard day's work, and I'm feeling pretty bushed. Dinner was nice, but a bit bland. 
feel like I might know the person who wrote this. Should we read more? Yes. Okay, let's continue. Day wax month. Cloudy than sunny. Today was great. Today was great, diary. <laughs> I used my I used my castle to lift Princess Peach's castle way up into the sky. Then I barged into Peter. Peach's castle and beat up Mario. Yeah, unbelievable, I know, so fun. And then there's more. After that, I kidnapped Princess Peach. I couldn't be happier, diary. I hope she likes me. <laughs> See, Bowser's just on the inside. Bowser's just a big kid. You know, he's just, he's a bully, but he's just a big teddy bear on the inside. He's just a big kid, you know? <laughs> Princess Peach, this is Bowser's diary. Ugh. What will we do? Should we read more? Yes. How do you think Peach feels, though, like, reading this stuff? Like, oh, I hope she's like... <laughs> well, the Cooper Bros got beaten up by Mario Diary. He even set free that stupid s star spear I kept there. I'm so mad I can barely write. Oh, I'm Mario. I'm so big and strong and good and helpful. I hate him, but I'm not worried. There's no way Mario... Could save the star spirit being held in dry, dry ruins. To that, to do that, we'd have to solve the mystery of the sands and find dry, dry ruins in dry, dry desert. How would he? How would he even know to go to the desert anyway? So I'm not worried at all. In fact, I'm so calm. I'm gonna go to bed now. <gasps> also, by the way. I totally thought the Dry Dry Desert chapter was later in the game, but I'm wrong. Totally wrong. Dry Dry Ruins in the middle of Dry Dry Desert? One of the revered star spirits is being held there? Twink, do you think you could find Mario and tell him that? Yes, of course, Princess Peach. I'll find Mario right away. Question mark? Oh no, I can't believe I left my secret <laughs> lying out. It'd be so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, Bowser. Huh? What? What? What's the princess doing here? Ah, you little sneak. <laughs> See, I can't take this seriously because... Bowser writing a diary? What in the world? King Bowser, is there a problem? You're the worst guards ever. Take Princess Peach back to her room immediately. Yes, sir. Straight away. Forgive us, sir. No, put me down. I love Twink's expressions. Mario. I believe you'll save us all. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all you've done. Thank you. Since you have freed us, freed me from my prison, the seal of my power is broken, and I will recover little by little. As long as an ounce of power remains in me, I shall help you. Mario can now use the Star Spirit's power in battle. Using your star power requires star energy. Would you like to listen while I tell you how to use star point, star powers and star energy? We're going to skip this, because I already know it, I remember. Suggest so that you listen, it's very important. Do you want to listen? No. Alright, if you say so. Sometimes I honestly feel bad saying no to them, you know? Mario, listen carefully. You must save the other star spirits quickly. If the seven of, us, seven of us come together, we'll be able to bestow upon you a star power called the Star Beam. The star beam is the only thing that can counteract the star rod that Bowser wields. I have to go back now, back to Star Haven. I must leave immediately, but I'll always be watching you. Save us all, Mario. Alright, well, um, now we go back.
Did we ever hit this tree? Nope. Or yes, maybe. I don't know. I think we have a room for that in our inventory, don't we? Or just a... Uh... Wonder about, am I even gonna get experience points? Yep, okay, good. If I'm not getting experience points, then it's like really I don't even care. Because I already got a good stock point stock pile stockpile of coins and I'm not even supposed to break it like that. <laughs> good job. No one meant to do. Can we drop down? No. Okay, no, it's not. I swear one of those things will like follow you when you walk around. Actually, hang on. This guy. There we go. <laughs> so funny um you know we're just gonna head right or no let's let's go to the Koopa village real quick I'm gonna waste all my time deciding what to do um yeah let's take a nap I don't know, like, if I'm gonna keep reading everything. But then again, you know, sometimes I'm just silent for so long. It's like, I think it's kind of good if I read, um, a lot of the stuff, you know? Not really interested in anything. I don't, see, I don't see why we can't live in this vacant house. It'd be awesome. We've owned our own house for the longest time. But I guess we might have a problem if the owner of the house comes back. We could always, we could always go back to the fortress, I suppose. He's right here. The owner of this house is right here. He's in love with Mom Betty. But she doesn't like him because he's so persistent. Love is complicated. Sign, Bob Buddy, I worry about you constantly. Double sigh. Bob Buddy, you're, you're joining Mario's adventure? <laughs> you can barely see her. It's really lonely without you. My heart will break if you go. Please, I beg you, take me with you. With you, wherever you go. One Bomb Bomba is enough. You should stay here instead. Take care of the village. Oh, you're so cruel, Bomb Petty. Okay. Uh, I wanted to go to the old guy's house. Oh, welcome, young fella. I'm the elder of Koopa Village. Folks call me Koopa Coot. Say, might you do me a favor? Oh, how very kind of you. This is not how an old person sounds. <laughs> I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. Well then, young fella, I don't usually ask for favors, but perhaps just one little... Could you borrow the book Koopa Legends from Colorado? I'm certain if you were to ask Colorado's wife, she'd lend it. If it isn't in trouble, please go there as soon as possible. You promise, young fella? That's... yeah, I'm not <laughs> trying to do the old person voice. I feel like I'm really bad with impressions and accents. 
So I just, you know, change up my voice a little bit here and there for fun. Actually, isn't... I forget, isn't there a house, like, right... It's just right at the beginning, right? Of the second area? Yeah. I think my husband went to Dry Dry Desert. But who knows? I wonder what he's doing now. I swear, I sent him letters, but... But has he written back even once? Of course not. Oh, do you need something? You're doing an errand for the Elder, are you? Hmm, right. Koopa Legends. Yes, my husband owns that one. Of course you can borrow it. Don't let the old coot work you too hard, okay, Mario? So not to do that. He's also a bit short-tempered. Well, anyway, wait here for just a moment. I'll go poke around my husband's bookshelf. Found it! You're talking about this book, right? It's all yours. It's behind the bookshelf. That's... That's strange. That book. It has all these pictures of shells and exercises. Firmer shell in 30 days. Hmm, I wonder what that could mean. I wonder. <laughs> there you go. You old coot. Great galloping Goombas. You're a lifesaver, Mario. Do Goombas gallop? <laughs> Do they technically gallop? Like, you know, our horse gallops? This is just what I needed. Hee hee hee. Show my gratitude. I'd like to make you a gift of this. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. One whole coin. Oh, what luck. You came at the perfect time, young man. Could you, could you see your way to do me another favor? Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. Well then, young fella. I don't usually ask for favors, but... You're gonna hear this a lot, by the way. If, assuming if I keep doing these quests. Lately, I've been sleeping poorly. I'd love a sleepy sheep to help you catch a little shut-eye. There should be a shop in Toe Town that sells them. If it isn't a bother, hurry up and get one, alright? You promise, young fella? 